Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Major League Gaming booth. I am Gandhi, joined by Maven. Maven, Sorry. it's like a ten-year reunion for us, Cassidy oh, for MLG. Talk about what we've got, we've got Pocket. Got to yeah. spend some quality time with him and the shipster. Dude, awesome people. But so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we kind of started getting into a little bit of COD here. We're getting yeah. there. We're not yeah. good with CODcaster, though. We're, that's oh yeah, yeah. We're that's gonna, uh, that's Benson's kind of the equation. Be controlling our CODcaster yeah. off camera because we. Haven't used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we do is uh, we got into it. We've been playing. It's perfect, actually, because we've been playing with TK. Yeah. And we've been playing with Mr. X all the time. So, yeah, uh, it's a perfect match for us to get our feet with it. Yeah, yeah. We uh, yeah. For those of you that saw us cast our first COD game a couple weeks <laughs> back, uh, we didn't really know anything. But we've been, we've been grinding. Yeah, uh, we did actually figure out that the Hailstorm is actually a Hellstorm. Yes. So, uh, that before. was first lesson, which was good. <laughs> uh, we used to think it was hail, physical hail coming down. Uh, not, but it's, not uh, hail. It's not actually hail. Uh, a bullet. Yes. It's a missile, actually, to be precise. So we're good. We got that all down. And, uh, you know, Mavs, the, the first thing we got to say is, is it's so much fun to play. Yeah. You know, like I, that's, we were a little hesitant. We don't have much experience yeah. with God, but we've been playing a ton. It, it's a blast. Yeah. Especially, you know, league play. It's just it, it's so competitive. Yeah, but it's also so frustrating, too, yeah. man. There's just so many times you, like, go in with four and they quit out. And you're like, I don't know what's wrong with you. You know what's waiting for me back home? What? My scuff. Oh, your old man hands no, can't I handle it. I, I can't do the jumping. <sighs> you know, I, I, I know I'm going to have to sell out eventually and get one, but like, I still got it, man. You still got the claw. I, I'm still there. You're going right to get Killa, going to get tendonitis and not be able to do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. So, uh, Killa does have that. He actually has to like warm up his arm. Yeah, he was like rubbing bit. it, taking Advil. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's not everyone can be tough. It's how it is. Uh, but so, ladies and gentlemen, the match we're actually going to be doing is uh, we're going to be doing Complexity versus TK. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and meet our Complexity roster, Maven. Yeah, and well, this is nice for us because, uh, well, we got, you know, there was an event recently where they actually met up in the finals. We got to watch uh, watch them a bit. And uh, Mr. X, is our he's our, he's our trainer. Yeah. He's taught, he's taught us everything we know. Yeah. And, and, you know, the awesome thing about this team is, you know, Crim6 actually kind of jumped into Halo for a little bit. Yeah. He was sitting around like, you know, the 6th and 8th range was doing pretty good. And... You know, and then he came back to Call of Duty, and now he's just destroying. It's really nice yeah. to see. Uh, but, you know, speaking of Mr. X, you know, so many people, like, don't understand, like, the importance of a coach. And Mr. X has won so many titles in various different games that he understands how to win. Yeah. And he's kind of like the adhesive that kind of holds them all together. Yeah, I know. Uh, Clayster, I mean, that kid's such a goat. Dude, they had right? A, they had a ban a gun because of him. And I know, Dude. you know, he's just been, he's been crushing it. I know he's one of the best S&D players right? in the game. Um, TP, on the other hand, he's like kind of the objective guy. I guess you know we were learning he's a three-time MLG champion. Yeah, believe, he's so. actually uh, he's my favorite on this team. You, you, and like you know the, why? You like yeah, because like you know everyone gives so much credit to because Clayster's disgusting. He's going to outshoot yeah. every single, almost every single person in the anchor position. And you know Crim Six and Ax, they're so versatile. You know they switch between like subs and yeah. ARs, and a lot of people are like, oh, why is he doing that? But it's because of positioning. But TP, he's such an objective mastermind, and he just does it all. It's so awesome to see. Yeah, and I know we were, you know, we've been kind of learning the players. You know, yeah. Who likes to run AR? Who likes to run sub? And yep. there's a lot of actually versatile players on here. I know they were saying Ax and Crim Six will kind of, you know, depending on the map, depending on the game type, they can flip back and forth, whereas not all of your players really do that. Yeah, and so then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the other side is going to be TK. Uh, Nezlo's kind of been our, uh, he's been our, he's been our little coach, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, we've played some league play with him. We've also just gone to pubs, and he's dropping like 50 bombs every game, <laughs> which is helpful. <laughs> uh, well, it's so bad, too, because, you know, we've been playing with some of the COD girls, too, because, yeah. you know, we can't always play with the pros, and when Nezlo's in there, he's like, oh, man, the girls are better than you. are like, hey, man, come no. on. We're don't don't, don't hit us in the ego. We're learning. Yeah, we're, we gotta learn. We're getting our feet a little bit wet here. And uh, so Sharp, right? First time we ever meet Sharp at the last event, he comes up to us and he's like, why do you guys look like Joe Rogan? And it, it's you. You look like Joe Rogan. I was the like, beard, well, the old. Yeah, we're like, well, we're kind of old and uh, I, I think I'm going bald too. Yeah. So we're yeah. not exactly easy on the eyes, but we're cool, <laughs> right? Uh, but so TK is a very, very strong team. You know, we saw them. That I think uh, it's kind of safe to say across the board here that everyone knows that they're like the S and D gurus, man. Well, we watched uh, again that, at that last event, you know, this same matchup, and you know, so Complexity good. was giving it to them on most your flag game types and hard, and hard point, but when it came to S and D, I, I don't think they dropped the game. I don't, I don't think so either, it man. Was, it was unreal. Yeah, they uh, they're just so good. But so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, hard point on raid is going to be game number one. Gandhi alongside Maven. Maven, 
This is our favorite. This is this is the one that uh, we actually are decent at. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we've really been learning, and one of the, one of the biggest keys for us, which uh, just took time to use to, is how early you actually rotate in these game types. Oh I mean, yeah. Whether it's sometimes between you know 20 seconds, sometimes even as soon as like 30 seconds, people are starting. You know, especially the anchor, getting him to rotate, set up, get uh, get cutoffs, and uh, yeah, that. It's a lot of discipline. That's what we've been learning. Uh, so much discipline. And the other thing, too, is, is we actually started to notice that you don't actually all want to be around the hill. You want to actually put two sub guys into the middle of the map, and you're yeah. going to see a, that's what complexity does yeah, very, usually, very well. Usually, if you're guy in the hill, you know, your anchor, and then yep. the other two can kind of have some fun. Exactly. So, well, you push the two guys in the, you know, into the middle of the map, and the reason yep. why you do that is because when you die, you'll actually spawn where your teammates are, whereas if you die close to your teammates, you're yep. going to get the other spawn. Yep. So, yep. Uh, it's a little bit interesting to say the very least. Oh, Neslo picking up the Dubski. Oh. So, still on board with Neslo here from TK. He's going to be pushing up here into the raid. He's got one guy, takes him down. Easy shots there. Kind of routine for him, you know. He's got such a steady shot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, it's funny to see uh, everyone here use this MSMC on uh, on land, whereas I started using Scorpion online. <laughs> You're a Scorpion guy these days? <laughs> Get out of here, man. Oh, it's so bad. So, already we do have streaks here from TP, and TP's going to be taken down here as he was in the hill, and he's going to be spawning here. And normally you kind of see on hardpoint, it's like, oh, we kind of want to wait for your kill streaks for the rotation yeah. coming up. And we're getting to the point now where rotating is basically going to happen. And on this kitchen hill, you kind of want to be in the back. You want to get control behind kitchen before yeah. actually. And with that, you know, with that first ring hill, you, you have to have somebody kind of top laundry holding that that back top spawn because that's where you're going to need to set up to rotate over to the kitchen here. Yep. So TP is going to be in the new hard point. He's got a guy takes him down, dodges grenades. Crim six is right next to him. That's another one. He's got the streaks, man. He is so good. I love TP, man. I'm just, I can't help it. I'm such a fanboy. Yeah, they're they're getting streaks uh, in a hurry here. Yeah, and, and you know, it's kind of safe to say that at, at this point in time, Complexity's kind of like the gurus of Hardpoint. I'm not sure yeah. if they actually have dropped that this weekend. Well, you know, we were talking to Mr. X, uh, before, well, gosh, 10 minutes ago, and he was saying you know, one of the big things is they can just have uh, Clayster kind of roam once they have the hill, and he never loses individual battles. So that's quite helpful. <laughs> yeah, when you're not missing shots, uh, apparently <laughs> that helps. Thanks, John. So Krim6, long range, MSMC is going to be able to take that down. They do not have the control of the kitchen, so right now TK is actually looking in a pretty decent position there. You're going to start rotating, and one of the best things about rotating is, is you can catch those, uh, if you're complex, you kind of catch them with their pants down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I know every time I uh, play anchor a lot of times, every time I do this rotation out yeah. to like, the back garage, there's always somebody prone, like by the van or oh. by the car. Scares the living hell out of me. I can't stand that guy <laughs> either, man. So Nezla's able to push up one here. He's going to be rotating right in front of the weight room. Semtex going to come down. He's still going to be waiting here, waiting for his teammates to push up. Push up. And this this one's always kind of complicated to do, but oh, he's going to be taken down here. And now Complexity, they are all about this. Aix is on a, has a two kill. He's going to be playing for these streaks here. Well, oh, he pushes up and he misses all those oh, shots. And he's wow. going to be cleaned up, so no streaks. And this hill is one of those where, you know, if you get set up well, it is yeah. so, so, so hard to break. Um, a lot of times we see teams just give up, just rotate well before that, like, 30, 20, 30 second mark. Yeah. And so the next one's actually going to be going to the basketball court, but Maven, uh, where do you like to sit on this map here well, uh, for this garage hill? Uh, for garage, uh, typically I'll be that guy crouched in the corner by the two <laughs> cars, just picking people off with my MA. <laughs> Sitting down, having Sneak, a sandwich. Sneaky little kitten. Yeah, sneaky cats, man. They're, they're always good. So we do have an AR here, and this is going to be the rotation here. So what Crim6 is going to be doing is he's one of those players who actually switches from the AR to the MSMC, and they're interchangeable based on his position. Yeah. And the reason why he wants to go here is because you want to get control of jungle before breaking this hard point. Because yeah, pull, you have to. It's, so, it's so easy to kind of come through pull and just well, clean yeah, people Yeah, you, you need that top spawn. And you know, I usually like to honestly, down at the basketball court, kind of hang out where he is right now, hang out in there just in case it streaks. Yeah, exactly. So jumping on board. Sharp here, he's checking out the basketballs. He's got to play, he's like, you know, do I You know, I've worked hard, I hear play? you can shoot the basketballs and like... But really? Yeah, you can shoot them, like play, play a little one-on-one. -on -one. Really? I, 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 I honestly have no idea. We'll do that when we get back. Yeah, I, I, I got to now, I, I got to shoot some hoops. Relax and I'll go oh, oh. right in the face, he's going to be able to clean them up here. Getting a decent amount of timer there. Uh, trying to close in, they're going to be down by basically about 20 kills, or yeah. 20 kills. And this is, uh, this is still very tight, you know, 20 seconds sounds like a lot, but it's it's really not. I mean, we've seen games where people have been up, you know, 90 seconds and have been come back on. So, you know, anything is possible in these hard point games. Sharp does have three kills here. He's playing for the streaks. And we're switching on over to Nezlo here. Nezlo has a guy in the raid. Down he goes as well. So now that's going to be one member dead here for the members of TK. And now here comes the next one. And this one's so chaotic. This middle oh, hill. Oh, so, 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 so chaotic. Oh, man. Baby, quick little uh, scoreboard update here. Crim6 
The six crim, 18 oh, kills, wow. nine deaths. That looks like my, that looks like one of my, one of my stat lines, I think. That, I don't think you've ever had 18 <gasps> kills across not, like I, any I game. I, I don't know if I have. <laughs> not even in buff. But yeah, I know this hill. I'm always the one crouching down here, and there's like eight grenades hitting me in the face. Ugh. Hey, it's so it's it's really tough too because you almost just kind of want to like go in, get some scrap time, and get out. Yep. But at the same time, it's like, where do you sit? You know, it's yeah. such a square, and every team plays it so much differently. Oh yeah, absolutely. So 20 seconds left here. We are on board with Gunjar. Gunjar, very, very solid player. He's going to be pushing up, clearings out one here, and now he's getting ready to move to the rotation. And he, what he wanted to do there was he wanted to get laundry, because yeah. he want to hold laundry here for this next Yeah, from talking to the guys, I guess, Gunjar yeah. usually, typically plays their anchor, so he'll be that guy that usually be the first one rotating. But man, rotating is tough as anchor. You, know, you got to watch, there's always people looking at those cutoffs, uh, you know, on your path to get to that, get to that next setup, and I, I get picked off pretty much every single time. Yep, trophies are coming down here. Uh, they actually are able to call it back into this one here, and we're actually going to get a lead change here. First lead uh -oh. change of the game. Complexity well, started off. Complexity doesn't lose hardpoint? Well, they, you know, they actually haven't taken the lead yet. Uh, it's still tied, so oh, it's a little yeah, bit I, premature. I, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there she was. So now Gunjar is going to be anchoring here up in the art. He's got a full, basically, if you look at your minimap here, you see where his teammates are. You have two guys running around, then you have a guy back laundry. And the back laundry guy is going to be kind of sneaky. But if he dies like he just did, yeah, and it's going to be three members down, make that, that all four, huge, and complexity. Perfect execution. Yeah. You of taking have got bags. to survive in that top laundry. You have to, because now the spawns are completely flipped, and they're going to have that you know first shot of kitchen. Yep. Crim six does have three kills here. So does uh, Aix has two, and so does Clayster. And now Crim six, man. Crim six, such a monster. He's, he's dude. destroying. Crim six it, running. It, uh, it must be our, our Halo patch just has him excited. <laughs> <laughs> just bringing out his skills. Yeah, that's it. It's actually funny too because every event we've been to, they've. They've won. Yeah, yeah. I so we're, we're kind of like their good luck charms. Complexity good luck charms, yeah. Even though I'm, I'm, I, I, I love me some Rambo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Two loose ears. You can't do it wrong, man. <laughs> so TP now holding the back jungle here. He's going to be head glitching the rock now. He's going to be pushing up here. If you see the time, we have 44 seconds here, so he's going to just be staying here. He wants to hold these spawns for his teammates, but he's now going to get a little bit ballsy. He's going to be pushing up, and he's going to oh. be taking down. Nice shots by Sharp. But he did get his teammates to kill us, and now look at them just surge into oh, the kitchen. Oh, my God. Oh, my. TP coming off the respawn now. He's going to be pushing up. He's going to try to get some kills. He has one guy. Oh, almost hits the two piece. Gets cleaned up. Two guys pushing oh, in. Oh, they even the sure now. with the shootout there. Yeah. There's a whole flock of them out there. Yeah. Bunch of flocks. <laughs> 176 to 140 here with three minutes left in play. I, I think we're actually going to be able to see the ending of this game. Sometimes we say it's its time limit, but I think this one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be say. close. It's going to be really close here. And the main thing TK has to worry about is look at this. So this is Sharps is like just trying to clean him up. He knows the rotation's coming. So yep. he's like, you know what? I'm going to clean up all of these stragglers, man. And such a nice shot, man. Sharp now going to be they pushing up. They are much up. better with subs than we are. Oh, dude, it's <laughs> night. <and day. laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, dude, I, I don't think I've ever hit that shot Yeah, yeah. Like I, my sub doesn't shoot that far. I'm no, sure. no way. So now we are on board with Sharp here. They do have control of the garage. We are watching Goonjar. Goonjar hanging in here. He has a guy in his sight. Spam fire and it comes oh. to the MP. No red dot. That's the worst, man. Oh, yeah, no red dot. He's got another one. Absolutely terrifying. Shoots him in the kneecap. Is yeah, unable I, to I, kill him, and I, that is a perfect break from yep, complexity. I was just saying how hard that is to break, but that was really, really well done. Jumping on board with Crim6 here. Crim6 running around with the sub here. You're actually going to see him push. Uh, if it's all four teammates are alive, he's actually going to push up through zigzag and start uh, mowing people down. And if he dies, he can I love that by zigzag call out. I, I just wonder who came up with that. It's wonderful. Well, you know, some people call it like L wall too. I like zigzag. I like zigzag. So, 210 here to 168. They basically got the majority of that yeah, time. Yeah, they, they've dude. had two really, really, really solid hills. I mean, they, they were down, what, 122 to 121, and uh, it's they really haven't looked back. But yeah. it looks like TK does have control right now. Yep. Placer now getting ready to rotate here. The hill is at basketball. So what you want to do is you want to go straight to uh, you want to go straight to the jungle and start pushing from up top because it's much easier, like we said before. Yeah. So waiting for his teammates. Spots the guy hey, takes down Sharp here. He's always winning the one-on-one -on -one battles, man. Yeah, and it, you know with as little time as there is here, they should try you know try to get this contested as much as they can. They don't really need to worry about getting too much time. Yep. Neslo does have a three kill streak here. He's going to be playing for those streaks. He does have the head glitch here. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the next hill is actually going to go to the middle. And uh -oh. we are just 10, kill, ten points uh -oh. away here on hard point. This is going to go down to the wire, man. And Neslo is just being sneaky there in the jungle. Neslo now rotating around. He's starting to spread his wings and flock a little bit here, Maves. Yeah, and with this next Oof. hill, I mean, oh, no. whoever gets this first setup, oh, and we're all oh, no. out. 50 seconds left. Well, this is a big five seconds here, too. So we have the second lead change here. Clayster, or, yeah, Clayster's pushing in here. It's in the middle of the map. Oh, he oh goes down. Oh, my. That is a huge dub for Crim6. 
Ake's now pushing up, throws his first grenade here. He has a guy in sight. He's able to take him down. 214 to 218 in county. Trophy system's down, helps him out, cleans up. Oh! Oh, oh my god, Theory my. just We're showing some, his dominance. Some trash talk from the TK side. Yeah, dude, crazy. Goonjar now rotating in through the kitchen. 20 seconds and remaining. Mathematically impossible. Wow. Complexity shows they so are human. We are the worst good luck charms in the history of good luck charms. Woo! Wow. As taking a look here at the hype from TK. Maven, dude, just looking at the game, dude, it was so... At the beginning, it was all about complexity, right? Yeah. And then we saw as, like, TK started really breaking the hills well. Like, you have to be so methodical. And the main thing about Call of Duty, which is why we kind of suck at it, is, like, you have to be so obedient, too. Yeah. You have to be oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't push this. Well, I cannot just, I mean, push that was, that was a roller coaster. You know, you had, they were up early. They tied yeah. it at, like, that 121. Then complexity went off, and I think got up to about 50-second lead, and Ooh. TK just crush the rest of the way. Taking a look at the kills here, we saw uh, 36 kills there from uh, Krim. And then on the other side, it was really just a team effort. And, you yeah. know, it was actually funny because I was watching Aches on an interview and he said, you only lose hard points when your team's not working together. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those kind of game types where you, you always have these has to have those like small communications and stuff like that those subtle like hey man i'm with you well you really you know especially during that rotation period you, you have to all be on the yep. same page um otherwise it's just too easy to clean yeah. up stragglers like we saw T tk was doing a great job of you know they were at those cutoff points just yeah picking up those stragglers uh especially the pool side we saw it done several times and uh that's uh, that's got to be a, a rough loss yeah uh, so we are going to go to a quick commercial break when we come back capture the flag coming up next stay tuned Well, <laughs> well, 